Dokert here. Today we're going to go over the Dokert Flag Vector Monitor Dual Purpose Test Aid. Basically this is just a couple of extensions that will allow you to swap your X and Y signals to verify whether the problem is on your monitor or if it's in your board set. The problem with vector monitors is that the cables that go from the X and Y signals are not long enough so that you can actually swap them on the actual monitor. This was originally designed for the Wells Gardner 19K6100, but it will also work for the Wells Gardner 19B2000, the Electrohome G058018, 802 and 805. So in order to do this you're going to just take one of the test cables, remove on the 6100, this is the Y signal, plug it in, then go over and remove the X signal, this end will go to the X signal. Your next cable, you'll plug into the X signal. And these are keyed so you can't screw it up. And plug into the, kind of hard to see with all the wires in the way, the Y signal. Now you can fire up this 6100 and the signals will be generated technically backwards which will allow you to tell that if your problem moves or shifts that it's in the monitor or if it's in the actual board set. The next part of these, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect everything and we'll, we'll go back and go to the dual, por dual purpose portion. dual purpose portion we're going to show you on the Y side just because it's easy to reach. With the dual, dual purpose portion you just disconnect these two connectors and plug into your Y signal. Set your meter for diode test. The nice thing about these is that right now this is this is a prototype so it doesn't have the markings yet. This will actually be this one will be marked with 16 to identify that this goes to the transistor 2N3716. This one will be marked with 92 which tells you that it goes to the 2N3792. The wires are color coded so you can't screw this up either. You take your black lead, plug it into the black wire red lead to the red wire and you should have a reading of between 400 and 700. You need to test both sides and that tells you that that 2N3792 transistor is good. If it's bad, 9 times out of 10 it'll be shorted. The same thing applies to the 2N3716 red lead to the red wire black lead to the black wire between 400 and 700 on your meter and that transistor is good. You can easily do this by back probing the uh, monitor connector with the old IDC connectors. You can even do it if you have the new connectors with the trifurcon pins. My problem is I always forget which one is which. Well these are marked and then there's no question as to which one is which. Dokered out.